Christmas is just around the corner, so I thought I'd pull together a gift giving guide for your favorite YouTuber, or for yourself, really. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, your YouTube certified expert. And if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, you should click subscribe start creating. Now the festive period is in full swing and this time of year is great for upgrading your equipment. Whether you are gifting it to the YouTuber in your life or whether you need to write a Christmas list and send it to your family so they can pick things for you to help them, you know, nudge them in the right direction. Here's a few ideas for you to suggest on that list. This entire list will be in the description down below if any of these take your fancy. One, as a main present, maybe a camera. I've recently upgraded from my webcam that I'm recording this on to a Canon 200D or an SL2 if you're American. Very nicely this was gifted to me as a birthday present very recently and I, I thank the person that did that. Mwah. But upgrading from a webcam to a camera can help step you up to that next level. I know that my Canon 200D will allow me to get out of the office environment, out of my set and explore the world, go and take shots of the canal, maybe start vlogging on the go, maybe giving you some of my magic thoughts whilst moving around a bit. Two, why not upgrade your lens if you already have a camera? Figure out what kind of aperture, what kind of setting that you have. My Canon 200D is an EF based lens cap, so therefore you just go and get equivalent lenses. There are many videos out there that would suggest budget lenses or Canon lenses. Or link that in a playlist down below should you want to do your research. Some lenses could be as little as $50, some can cost considerably more. Depends on what you're looking to achieve. I personally use the own kit lens with the camera, but most people like the nifty 50, or if you're using it for photography, you might want the extra zoom. Three, maybe a camera bag. Maybe they've already got their camera, but they need to defend it. Or they've got a load of equipment that they carry around a lot and you worry that they're juggling it and it might get damaged. A good camera bag can hide it all inside, protect it all inside, and they can be fairly cheap. They can be fairly discreet as well. Four, if you can't afford a camera, go for a webcam. In this case, and for the last 200 odd videos on this channel, I record, here you go, we've got Logitech C920. I believe the C922 is even better for live streaming if you're gaming, it's got a better frame rate, but you can't beat a decent webcam. I have recorded close to 1200 videos, maybe even more, with this webcam setup, and it's never failed me. My recent Canon upgrade is my next step forward, but I would have been equally as good with this Logitech webcam. The only difference is that you can't run around in the street with a webcam connected to a laptop. Five, lighting. Now here in my set, I light myself with soft boxes, or in my case, I don't use soft boxes in themselves, but I do use ah, lights. Now these lights help me so, so much. Right now, for example, I'm recording at seven o'clock in the evening. So the YouTuber in your life or yourself, you can bulk record your content at any point. I can control my own environment. I can control my lights, whether I've got a ring light behind the webcam, or whether I've got two normal massive lights with daylight bright light bulbs lighting my background, but as far as you're aware, it's daylight outside and I have full control of my lighting. Which leads to six, backgrounds. Does the YouTuber in your life vlog in front of a background? Do they do educational stuff like me? Is it a bit weird that I'm wearing a red t-shirt rather than black? It's festive, kind of hides the mind nipples a little bit. Backdrops, green screens, great gifts to add to your arsenal of equipment. That's all you need to do basically as a YouTuber. Make sure you've got a load of options. So if I wanted to vlog in front of here, I can do so, or I can hop out outside, do on the go vlogging. Generally, a backdrop can help. Also a green screen will certainly help the, the Twitch gamer in your life or anyone that wants to stream online and digitally remove the background. Seven, a microphone. Now this here, is a lavalier mic. It's a clip mic that you expect from normal TV shows and it's connected to the laptop right now, but it will also be connected to a DSLR or anything with an input microphone jack. This allows me to be personalized. It's mainly getting the noise around me and not around 
the room, or you can get a shotgun mic. You get Rode shotgun mics for cameras, but there are other makes as well. I tend to find that audio quality is the one thing that people do not forgive. So if you're willing to spend 20, 30, 50 odd pounds or dollars, and you don't know what to get, upgrading your sound may be a better bet compared to visuals. As long as they can see you, that's fine. If they can't hear you or you're echoey or you seem to be talking from the opposite side of the room, they might get fed up and leave. Get a microphone. And finally, number eight, a tripod. This tripod that I have right now is a, is a lifesaver. It's an extending tripod. It's got micro telescopic thingies, right? Basically, it's like a giant umbrella. Currently, it's holding my webcam, but it also holds my camera and anything I choose to put on it. A tripod can add so many options to your YouTuber in your life. You can get gorilla tripods that wrap around things and connect to things. They add angles. I used my own tripod to make sure that I could use my unboxing angle because otherwise I'd have to unbox it whilst handling like that with a, a camera, whilst with the tripod I could aim down at a surface and pull it apart much easier. Also, for some of you that have been on my channel for a fair while now, you'll notice that when I bounce, the tripod doesn't have as much movement as my previous setup. Now, those are your main gifts that you might want to go and buy the YouTuber in your life or for you to put on your own hit list for now, for the New Year sales, for the Black Friday sales, for Cyber Monday, whatever. Now, there is a list of everything in the description down below. There's pricing, there is alternatives. Go and check those out and have a fantastic festive period. I will be doing stocking filler video as well for the smaller price tags. That'll be up in the playlist up here. So those are the perfect gifts for the YouTuber in your life. For more tricks and tips on how to grow your YouTube channel, check out the card above me or check out the playlist here. Hit subscribe for more YouTube tricks and tip tutorials. Go out there, start creating.